Hi everybody and welcome to this week's newsletter. I'm in the Ooh. Nerve Centre, the repair room. This is where we build golf clubs, repair golf clubs and do lots of stuff really. So why am I in here today? Well, it's the start of the season and it never fails to surprise me how bad people's grips are. Now I'm not talking about the way you hold the club, I'm talking about your grip. Now, we've discussed this before, there's guys and girls on tour that use grips that are very, very big and very, very small. And it doesn't always fall in line with the hand size, okay? So everybody's told, oh well, you've got to have this kind of gap between your hand. For, for me, sometimes that's really important, uh, but other times, again, it comes down to feel. Now, if you are changing your grips and you change this grip for, say, this grip, then the swing weight of the club will change, okay? The swing weight is measured on that little scale there, that one with the yellow bar. So your club will feel different. Okay, so bear that in mind when you're getting your grips done. It will feel different if you've got a different weight grip. Now, the fashion these days, the fashion, I sound old. I don't mean that, but um, they don't taper as much in the modern grip. You can still get a grip that tapers thinner down here, but again, most people really like the feeling of a slightly bigger um, part of the grip down the bottom. Now, You've probably never really thought too much about it or you have been guided by say a fitter saying this is the grip for you and again it comes down to preference as far as i'm i'm seeing i've not golf pride i think just before covid we're going to do a lot of testing uh on golf grip size material and stuff like that then covid happened and then afterwards everybody wanted to buy grips so I don't think the science is necessarily there yet with regard to size, but it's like anything, if you're holding on to something that doesn't feel nice or feels weird, then yeah, you're not gonna have confidence to, to, to swing well with that. And if your grip is worn, you're not gonna have the potential to swing as fast as you can uh, or securely as you can. So it's, it's worth going to your professional, looking at different grips, maybe even trying them out on your club. We use compressed air, we can put a grip on, and we can use this to check the swing weight, and we can let you hit a few shots to see if you like it. So so grip fitting is still, how can I say in this infancy? But if you wanna come along, try different grips, different swing weights, we will be more than happy to help. It's not just as simple as sticking a new grip on, okay? That was gripping, wasn't it? Sorry, I couldn't resist that. So we've talked about grips. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about lie angle of the club, how that club sits relative, relative to the ground. So every manufacturer will have slightly different lofted lies. Uh, now you've probably been fitted maybe two degrees upright, standard, flat. Have you ever thought that each club you could have a different lie angle, so not necessarily two degrees up in a seven iron, you may be one in an eight. Have you ever thought about that? Now that's what we do, we explore uh, with clubs that we can maneuver uh, within reason. We let you see if there's any benefit in having a different lie angle for each club. So not two degrees through the set. As I said, you can have different lie angles for your wedges, your longer irons, but Again, it comes down to the only way you'll find out if that's any use is if you measure. Uh, that's why we use GC Quad for this. So when we get players um, that want to explore this, we, we make the set, say two degrees upright, but we ask them if they want to come back and we'll go through each club independently to see if a slightly different lie angle will help them. It's not for everybody, uh, as nothing is, but again, it's something that we explore uh, in detail when we're, when we're doing things. It's just something that's not like kind of widely done. Uh, I think it's done on tour quite a lot uh, from the guys that I speak to, but again, if we learn from what the best players in the world uh, go into, then we can, you know, we can we can help you to that degree as well. 
Uh, today we had another driver fitting and a guy, kind of unusual, uh, quite an in-tight swing path. Um, and we, yeah, we found some good results. And again, I'll name the top two drivers that we did get the results with. Um, the my mind's gone the stealth 2 and the tsr tsr has been yeah and our testing has been amazing uh, not that i'm suggesting it's for everybody because it's not but uh, the people we've had in have benefited from it uh, so the guy with the slightly unusual delivery into the ball we at the end of the fitting said you know what we're making a difference but let's try something to make your swing path a little bit less um, massive right so you, you don't want your swing path to be massively across it or into out uh, it's hard to control the curvature uh, I find with that so if you swing say for example 15 degrees into out if we can bring that in even half we're going to make a big difference to your golf game you're going to hit it further uh and you're going to have a more consistent ball flight but again that consistent ball flight what does it come from strike centers of strike uh, is hugely important and depending on which way you swing the club out to in or into out or especially on a driver you find that there's a point on the face that will work better for you rather than uh, the standard center for example if you slice the ball you if you get inward toe on that driver you're going to actually put some tilt in the ball uh, to stop the slice so it's extremely important that you go and you measure strike and you visit somebody that knows what they're talking about not necessarily me there's lots of good fitters out there uh, but always ask questions and always look at strike that's the lecture over for this week uh, we've been in the in the repair room. We might show you a few more things in coming weeks about what we do. Uh, and if you have any questions, just ask. And remember, like and subscribe to this. And we will do as many things as you want us to do. Time provided. See you next week.